pleasure of sharing dinner with his family member. For the longest time, we have two special baseball inductees tonight. You'll hear from the son of one. And they had records that stood for the longest time. We all know about Roger Maris in 61, especially this year. Mickey Lolich had the strikeout record for left-handers for decades. No one ever wants to talk about that until Steve Carlton and Randy Johnson came along. People forget about how dominant Mickey Lolich was as a major leaguer. I shared with you earlier how my mother inspired my passion for our heritage because of his performance in the 1968 World Series. So, to introduce Mickey tonight, welcome back up to the podium, Steve. Well, it's a great honor to introduce my friend, and who was our NFCA treasurer in the 1990s for two years, Richard? Yeah. He kept the best books. <laughs> he raised a little more money back in the 90s, and so he needed a good treasurer. But it's just great that Richard can be here today to represent the Lowlich family from Portland, Oregon. Proud Croatians. Mickey wanted to be here. He's dealing with some health issues that just didn't allow him to travel. But we are extremely pleased and glad that Richard will be able to share a few thoughts and pay tribute uh, to his good friend and first cousin. And uh, Richard, please come up and share your Mickey Lowlich story that Jerome has alluded to is spectacular and something we should all be proud of. Thank you. As Steve said, um, due to some major health issues, Mickey couldn't be here to accept the award. I'm his cousin, Richard Lolich, whom he has asked to accept it on his behalf. He expresses his gratitude to the Croatian American Sports Hall of Fame Committee for voting him into the hall. He is very humble to represent his family history. All his cousins back in Portland, Oregon, and his family and CFU Lodge 351 in Detroit are very, very proud of him. He would like to congratulate all the athletes going into the Croatian American Hall of Fame to today. He also thanks you for this wonderful award. He is so honored and grateful. Who would have thought that a kid from Northwest Portland, Oregon, who would someday, someday not only be a major league pitcher, but the winning pitcher as well as the MVP of the 1968 World Series. Mickey is the grandson of Mio and Lutza Lolich, who immigrated to the United States from what was then Austria-Hungary, now Croatia, in the early 1900s. They settled in Portland, Oregon, and had three sons. One of their sons, Steve, was Mickey's father. Northwest Portland seemed a long way from Major League Baseball, but the legendary John Peveskovich Pesky also grew up there. In fact, he went to school and played ball with both Mickey, his father, and mommy. So maybe it was predestined that another baseball great Mickey would herald from Portland. From childhood, Mickey excelled in athletics. While in high school, he led his Portland Babe Ruth team to a runner-up finish in the 13 to 15 year old division in the 1956 Babe Ruth World Series. In 1957, he led his high school American League team to second place in the American League World Series in Billings, Montana. After high school, Mickey was drafted by the American League's Detroit Tigers, <laughs> where he played for 12 years until 1975. In his 13-year career with the Detroit Tigers, he's the team record holder for most games started, 459, most shutouts, 39, and most strikeouts, 2,679, which is also a record for a left-handed pitcher in American League history. In his 16-year career in the Major League Baseball, he ranks number four in strikeouts for a left-handed pitcher, 2,832, and number 85 for wins, 217. And most importantly, in the 1968 World Series, which Detroit won, 
He became one of three Major League Baseball pitchers since 1920 to have started and won three games. During that series, Mickey hit his one and only home run of his Major League career and was voted the most valuable player of the series. Interestingly enough, though, both Mickey and Roger Maris played in that same series. Mickey as a Tigers pitcher and Roger as a Cardinals outfielder. After he left the Tigers in 1975, Mickey then played in the National League for four years, first for the New York Mets and then for the San Diego Padres. I would be remiss, though, if I didn't mention two other Lolich cousins who also played Major League Baseball, Ron and Frank Lolich. They are brothers and also first cousins of Mickey and myself. Ron was a white fielder and played for the Chicago White Sox in 1971 and then for the then Cleveland Indians from 1972 to 1973. Ron's brother Frank was drafted by the New York Mets in 1966 as a right-handed pit right pitcher. He played in the Mets minor league system for five years. Needless to say, the entire Lolich family is very proud of our three star athletes. In closing, though, let us not forget the wonderful opportunities this great nation has given to millions of immigrants over the past centuries. Our grandparents came to this country in the early 20th century to create a better life for themselves and later for their three sons and grandchildren. This country allowed them to prosper, worship in peace, and raise a family of children who contributed to the diverse fabric of our American society. Thank you again. Could our baseball coach on the selection committee come up to you and help hand out a award to us? Hello, the family. Okay, all right.